has a woman that they love dearly. I want you to imagine being trapped inside a body that could not speak. Imagine that all around you things are happening to you, people are talking, there's lots of activity, but you can't participate. And imagine this world as a young indigenous girl, too frequently raised by broken, angry adults, coping with their own issues. This is the legacy that we have created for indigenous peoples. Living far from services, programs, and recreational opportunities that many of us will take for granted, some girls from Indigenous communities have few options other than to figure out how to escape. She exists as a fearful observer of the world around her, watching others succeed, go to school, and obtain good careers. This is the legacy that we have created for Indigenous peoples. It is undeniable that institutional and individual racism, sexism, poverty, addiction, insecure housing, and lack of economic opportunities increase Indigenous women's vulnerability to violence. This is inherently unfair. It's imperative that we prioritize the safety of Indigenous women and girls, uncovering the systemic and social causes that make them more vulnerable to violence. The media and other publications are focusing these women as sex workers, runaways, homeless, substance abusers, with that type of culture that we continue to use and educate our youth, where does that lead us to? silenced the drums, the songs, the traditional languages. We stifled the dance. And worst of all, we ripped children from their mother's arms. We are more than murdered and missing. We are language. We are medicine. We are land. We are culture, we are life givers. <laughs> 